Hello there and welcome to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. Today we're taking a close-up look at the new Simply Sentimental Holidays stamp set and coordinating die set. This set has 15 images in it that you can use to create happy holiday sentiments. There are seven different holidays images that you can coordinate with supporting sentiments in the stamp set. The die set is very unique in that it cuts out the words in the stamp set, but it also has dies that cut out the letters so you can have a die cut layered holidays image as well. So we're going to take a close-up look and I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can use these stamps and these dies together and separate. Okay, so also I wanted you to know that this coordinates really well with a previously released Simply Sentimental set, and that is the Happy set. So you can use these two together really well. They have fonts that match. Okay, let's stamp out the word holidays, and you can see what that looks like with black ink on white paper. This is a fairly decent sized image, but there's also smaller words in this so you can really match it to the size of card that you want to create. All right, there are coordinating dies, like I said, to die cut this out. You can see it cuts around it so nicely and you can have a really clean, polished look with your stamps. Now I'm going to take that same exact die I just used to die cut out my stamped word. I'm gonna die cut that from white cardstock and that's going to now create a shadow layer. I can take the coordinating die that die cuts out the letters, I'm going to die cut that from black cardstock and now I'm able to layer those on this shadow layer. So the die that creates the shadow for my die cut letters is also the die that die cuts out the stamped word holidays. So you can see how this is a very versatile set. So there's a comparison with the stamped one on top and the die cut layered one beneath it. And here it is with the word happy. You can see how I can match the fonts using that happy set. You can also use that shadow die to die cut around where you've just die cut out the letters and that's going to give you an outline. So that's another really cool feature from this die set. You can do this with four different dies in this set. Think of all the fun things you could do with that. Okay, let's look at those supporting images in the set that help you build sentiments. So we can do happy holidays, happy holidays and a happy new year, happy holidays from our family to yours, happy holidays and a happy new year. We also have wishing you and we can do happy holidays with that. May your holidays be merry and bright. May your holidays be filled with peace and joy. Wishing you happy holidays. Lots of different choices there to mix and match and create sentiments. Here are all the other images stamped out so you can see the different um, looks for the word holidays that you can get. And there's also a stamp that says warm wishes. Now all of these have coordinating dies to die cut them out. I wanted to also show you a comparison between the stamped image and the die cut layered image for each of these as well. So you have choices here and that's gonna give you a lot of options for stamping right on your card or die cutting and layering. It's just amazing to me how many looks you can get from this one stamp set. Now this one right here does not layer. This is one of the few that you just can die cut there's not also a layered die cut look for it because it's a really small image. So that's what it looks like with the coordinating die. Now remember, you can also use the shadow layer to die cut around your die cut letters and get that outline look. So here we have all of the things made with these sets, the companion words, the die cut holidays, the stamped holidays, and the outline holidays. So I hope that you can see all of the creative ways you can use this set and remember to pair it with the Simply Sentimental Happy for even more looks. Here's a couple cards using the stamp set so you can see what it looks like in action. This is an A2 card and another A2 card using the stamps and the ties. Thank you so much for stopping by. You can find more inspiration from Trinity Stamps on Instagram and Facebook too. We'll see you soon on the next video. Bye!